last time na siya problema ang kuan background music it's super loud and you can barely uh, hear me talking or discussing or sharing my uh, experiences so money siya ang new so this one is kind like a uh, more a little bit more of information but not too much of information so um and i would like to say thank you and give credit to where i got this idea from so i got this idea from pinay in california channel so i was watching her channel i think a few months ago and then it made me realize to create a blog similar as her blog because she's also living in california and we're like we are like experiencing the same thing like cost of living and everything else so and what i did i made a research on her channel through social media on facebook and luckily i got i mean i found her channel blog and then I'm, i found her i mean i found her account on such i mean facebook and then i emailed her and i asked permission from her if i could do the same content as what she did and thankfully she said yes go ahead you can do it yeah so pinay in california channel thank you so much for saying yes for generally uh, generous uh, i mean kindly saying yes uh with your channel so i all i i have to give credit where the credit is due and thank you so much and i will leave a link in my description box below so you also guys could visit her channel so if you guys are living in california it can give you an idea of what is the cost of living what are the expenses and yeah so all right so let's jump right into it so okay so okay when did i get here okay i got here 2011 so i got here because my husband is from here so he's an american uh it's an american and so i was working before back then in cebu in a medical library for almost seven years and then so we got married we got married a couple of times from korea and then the philippines and the place where i was born so i got married in san carlos and yeah so and yeah so to build a family so i need to come here to the u.s to build a family so that's one reason why i'm here why i got here so all right so story so we have one daughter yeah she's already in a fourth grade right now so okay guys so for the uh life in california home life so we are living in a one bedroom apartment we are renting every month so to qualify for an apartment rent so to get started with it you have to have a credit score background check and your proof of your income and then so if you're qualified then you can go ahead and get an apartment and then there is a deposit fee it depends how much so there is always a deposit fee so and then if you have pets I buy it a pet so in our case we are renting of almost two thousand dollars a month uh, apil na siya I think apil na siya ang kurinti, uh, kurinti tubig din ang gas so sa 1,900 something up to mag apil na siya and then and then na apa ay may kuan ka ng home renters insurance magbayad sa me so it is a requirement for us here in our apartment that we have a home renters insurance so aside aside sa imuhang health insurance na said me home renters insurance and then another thing car insurance so for car insurance number one if you are if you are uh buying a car brand new car or if you buy a car for five that's five years to pay and then if you have savings then you can pay that uh if you have how much you save so you can pay that as well as a down payment and then 
if you're for for buying car insurance also if brand new imong car uh matter sad na siya ang imuhang monthly payment sa car insurance kung used car na agyapon dako dako gyapon then kung naapog kay mga ticket violation driving ticket violation so mo sa na siya mo add up sa na sa imo sa imuhang car insurance so so, buy it on every month. So, those are the basic. And then, bills. We have the internet. For the internet, we're paying like $79.99 per month. And for our three phones, we are paying only like $50 for three of us. So, that's a very pretty good deal. Yeah, super deal price. And we have health insurance. We have, what else? Uh... Uh, daghan, oy dental, daghan, unsa um, pa? Uh, so and then we are paying taxes, double taxes here, federal and state. Ang ikatulo ang kana magshopping ka na i tax. So mag shopping ka kada shopping ni mo kung sa tuan ay value added tax, di ba? So dili na asad ni anak. So here in California, so that makes it literally expensive yeah so kung mo na siya ang life diri so mo na siya guys kay i know you guys you have so many questions to ask in your mind like you have a son you have a daughter you have a cousin you have a neighbor you have a friend and so this blog is really intended to educate for you to have at least a little knowledge or a little of information not too much of information but at least the basic of information basic information that you need to know of, of how you live of how you survive living in southern california and then aside from that credit cards that's another thing to pay bills to pay and then for daghan daghan siyag bayran and halos mga healthcare bayran sa na siya so daghan kagkuanan and then for the season o patka season diri we have summer winter fall and spring so kung mag change ang weather or mag change ang season mag change sa mig outfit okay tungod sa kung tugnaw mag long sleeve na sad mi so mao na we buy clothes mag depende sa weather Kung super init sa daw, oh, karon marag init pa, makawear kong inyo na ane, pero super itog na, marag wala na ni. Mag long sleeve na ko, or mag t-shirt, yun. So, or mag sweater, or mag trench coat. So, mauna siya guys, kung sa gawas, pero sa balay, okay, ra. So, mauna siya din ang, ang time zone, lain-lain og time zone, lain-lain may guras. California, New York, New Jersey, California, Lain, Texas, Lahit, 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 Dili siya pariha. Unlike sa Tua, maura siya, the same. From Manila, Cebu, Tanan, all over Philippines, pariha rag uras. So, mauna siya guys, um, koan. And what else? What else do I need to share? So, I think that's it. And then, also like, financial challenges. So, namagin ang financial challenges. Usahay. So, dili man sa tanang higayon nga wala kay mga challenges. No, na, yun na. That's part of life and that's normal. So, I have to admit it. We experience that. Kung ni Agi mo kalisod sa Pilipinas, ni Agi said mi Ana and we're just so thankful and happy that we have in-laws here, we have families here that they are uh, like saying yes in whatever situation or we ask like Baligihatag said ba? So, muna pasalamat mi. We're so grateful. They are, there, they, are, uh, they are there for us. We never, we need them. Like, through ups and downs. And also some friends. Some friends. So, it's it feels good. Like, uh, you have friends. Like, true friends around. Like, who really trust you, support you. And appreciate your effort appreciate you as a person who valued your worth that's very important because living abroad is not an easy life so you have to have a good connection of people around you true people around you so it's really helpful not because go on guys
Hi, sweetie. Okay, take care. Okay, bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> so, okay, guys. Interruption. <laughs> so, abot na akong bahay na sa work. So, mawag na siya nawag. Okay, so, asa na ta? Pasensya na, guys. Na interruption. Dig na ako. Pwedeng dilik to bagon. To bagon yun siya. <laughs> Pasensya. It's really unexpected. Okay. Four naman, kapin. So, mo na abot na na sa work. So, okay, guys. So, asa na ta? So, mo na siya. You have to have good connection of people around you. Okay. It's so... It's not because that you can get something from them. It's anywhere. I mean, even if you're not living abroad... Even if you're in your home place or even if your hometown, it is important that you are surrounded with the right people who supported you, who are there with you through thick and thin, who, who watches over you, who, who, who knows what is care and who trusts you. So that's very important thing. So value those who valued your work, your effort, who appreciate you. So mauna siya. Naghag negatron sa life. So, she focus on the positive ones. So, we have to focus on positive and enjoy life and be happy. So, muna siya guys. So, what else? So, I think that's all the basic that I could share with you guys. So, uh, this is a detailed uh, kind of sharing. Yeah, because you guys are part of, of my, of our family. So, you guys are our new family our channel is uh, building a new family and you are you guys are part of it to know or like a little background of us or a little information from us and not too much of information not too much is not good anymore so that's it so i think that's um if you have any questions so yeah so on a guys kung like here, kung naakay mga financial challenges, give a call with your family member, and hey, I need help. That's it. So dili siya automatic na mo offer o help because here, its privacy means a lot. So we cannot just simply share our life to anyone. It's very private. My husband is very private person. Yeah. So that's it. And everybody here is a very private privacy as its finest. You cannot just give out your phone number to anyone you know. Yeah, so it's not like that. So, mona siya guys, and also your address. I remember one time, like we're walking around here in the area where we live, like, Silinga Namu, and then she was a Filipina, and then I was, we got here, like, uh, wala pa mi one year ato guru, did it? Or one year pa lang. That was around 2015. And then, so I met a Filipina and then she was walking with her dog. And then I was like, oh, I was super excited because she's a Filipina. And then when I talked to her, uh, I, I thought she was speaking English. But she was speaking like Tagalog. So she recognized me that I'm a Filipino. So, so we're speaking Tagalog. And then in the middle of conversation she was asking my phone number like oh do you have phone number you know what i'm working in and blah 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 and then if you have any questions or if, if you want to apply for a job then i just include my name and just refer my name and my phone number and yeah and that's it so i was like i was so i was so delighted with that uh meet up and then yeah i've met a, a filipino the same place where i live where we live and then after that, after I we went home, my husband was like, oh, why did you give out your phone number? You just met her. So, yeah, that's very normal reaction of every an American citizen. That's very normal reaction. Do not be surprised, but that's how it is. They don't give out immediately. They don't trust immediately. It takes time to build trust for them. Unlike us, we just like, oh, okay, this is my number. Okay na kay nato, di ba? So, and one thing here, it's also man good ang online thief or identity thief. Mausad na ang to protect. Dili ka basta basta mo hatag sa inuang contact information or mga sensitive information. So, mo na ang reason. So, I understand that. So, with that experience, I learned. So, mo na siya guys. And also financial challenges. Yeah, we always, 
we also have that experience here. Dili ingon nga na ami sa Amerika wala mi ka experience og kalisod ni agi sad nga we we experience that situation. And yeah, we ask, we contact friends, family and we are so thankful for them for their support, my in-laws and friends, not just monetary help but in times you have a problem, you can contact your friends like, "Hey, like this, I have a problem and all that stuff. Like, dugay kay maghuman sa phone, and that's so, so it feels good like to share your 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 happiness, your experiences. So, yeah. So, mona siya, guys. It's it's very important. You surround with people with who believes in you as a person inside and out, who trust you, who believes your words in whatever you say. They have trust in you. Ulay duha duha mo trust sila. That's very important. If you have that person, if you met that person, be happy that that person is, is you know like you can trust or they trust you. So it's a give and take process, not just give and give, not just take and take. It's a give and take process. So that's very important. So mona siya guys, treasure that person. So mona siya. So we're so grateful and happy. And yeah, so. And above all, above everything else, uh, trust in the Lord. Uh, if you're a prayerful person, if you have trust in God or whatever, it doesn't matter about how, what is your religion. It doesn't, I don't mind about that. So, yeah. But let's just, just respect on that area. So, okay guys, I think I've shared what I have to share in a little bit of detail, but a little bit of information, but not too much of information. Yeah, so, mauna siya guys, akong ma-share. Life here is masarap na mahirap. You have to work hard for it in order to get what you want. You can buy what you want. So, of course, Ugi said me to pay our bills, to pay our everything. So, it's the same hard work that, or it's the same, it's, it's the same attitude of living in your home place or, your, or you are outside of the country. So, Mugugi yuka. So, it's just that uh, the culture from your home country and then you go to a different country, of course, you have to adapt the culture because immigration without assimilation is an invasion. I don't know if you believe on that, but in my case, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you have to assimilate the culture of the country or the place where you live in. So, mona siya guys. So, you have to accept, yeah, it what it might be hard at the start but later on you will get used to it so that's what i did that's my personal experience so i think yeah so yeah and if you're familiar with the six flag magic mountain that's the place where we live and we are here in the golden state so okay guys thank you for watching please subscribe today leave a comment in Feel free to leave your suggestion, recommendations, or if you have any topics in mind that you want to know, and then leave a comment below. Subscribe to us, hit the pink button right here or down there with the red button. Subscribe and hit the bell button to get updates, get notification in our next video. So. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you all my viewers, our subscribers, our followers. Thank you guys for watching. Without you guys, I'm not here uh, doing this sharing with you to everybody because this sharing is very important. It's very short and concise but at least I give a little bit of information of how it feels like what is life here in california because it's the same feeling if if i was still in the philippines i would be asking the same questions if i have a friend or a brother or a sister or cousin or neighbor like i would be asking the same question like what is life there what is your life so now i'm i'm sharing it with you guys okay so questions if i have a friend or a brother or a sister or cousin or neighbor like i would be asking the same question like what is life there what is your life so now i'm i'm sharing
sharing it with you guys, okay? So, I hope you have a good day and thank you so much. Bye!